Hi, good day, and welcome to this um, tutorials. This is a series of my tutorials on um, how to do simple things in ArcGIS. And in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use multiple fields to label a map. So let's take a map like this, um, as you see on the screen. This is a map of Ghana showing um, various small scale mining districts. We are interested in showing the name of the small scale mining district as well as some other fields that may be of relevance to us. Before we do that, let's first open the attribute table by right clicking and then click on the open attribute table. So if we look at this attribute table, we have various fields here. We have a field name mining um, this which it refers to the mining district we have a field for the number of accidents recorded in the mining district and then we have another field for the number of fatalities that has been recorded in that particular mining district and so what we want to do is that assuming we want to label uh, this map using the name of the district the number of accidents as well as the number of fatalities how do you do it there are various ways of doing that and that is what I'm going to demonstrate in this particular tutorial. So conventionally, if you want to label a single feature, what you can do is just right click on the feature, come to properties, and then it is going to open the property window for you. So now we have the layer property window which has been opened. Essentially, if you want to label a feature over here, just one um, using one field, you click on this label feature in this layer. And then you can select the field that you want to use over here. But I have an expression, so I will come here and then I will clear this expression and then click on OK. So I will clear this expression and then let's say I want to name it with a district name. I will just double click on that and then name it. So traditionally, this is how your, your layer property should look like. If I want to label using the number of accidents, I just come to the label field drop down here and then I select the number of accidents. I click on apply. And then it will label with a number of accidents. If I want to do same with a number of fatalities, I click on fatalities. I click apply and then it will label with a number of um, fatalities. So now what I want to do is that I want to label with both the number of fatalities and the name of the district. So what I have to do is that I have to use an expression because um, I want to use multiple fields to label. So I click on expression. And there are several ways of doing this. You can, you can label them using different lines or you can label them on the same line. So I will demonstrate how to label on the same line and then how to demonstrate how to also label using uh, different lines. So we want to label um, with the name of the district, which is the mining district, double click on it, and then as well as the number of fatalities. So once you double click on this, on your keyboard, you you type this ampersand uh, sign over here, this end sign on your keyboard. And then you come and double click on the number of fatalities. Then you can verify. So what this does is that it doesn't leave any space between the name of the district and the number of fatalities. There is no space in this because that is the expression that we wrote. If you want to leave a space, um, between the number of the fatalities and then the districts then after clicking the end symbol um, you click on the uh, apostrophe double apostrophe and then you click on space to leave a space you click on double apostrophe and then you click um, on the ampersand sign again so what this means is that what you first of all you have to label with the name of the district you leave a space and then you label with the number of fatalities. You can verify this. 
So this is the expression you have over here. So you have the name of the district, which is shown over here as St. Gregoire, and then you have the number of fatalities, which is one. The other way of doing this is that you also want to label the name of the district and the number of fatalities um, differently on different lines. All right, so let me just apply this. And then you see their outcome. So you see the outcome over here. There is Fosu and Two. Fosu refers to the name of the district, and Two refers to the number of fatalities. There is one here as Saint Gregoire refers to the name of the district, and then the one here indicates the number of fatalities. So the second way of labeling this is that we want to label the name of the district, and then the number of accidents or fatality is supposed to be on a different line. So you come to the expression, and then here. You can delete the space and the ampersand sign. Then you have to write this expression VB new line. And then you click on the ampersand sign again. Then you can verify. It appears there is a problem with um, our expression. So let me let me clean everything. And then um, demonstrate on how to do it. All right, so I double click on the name of the district. I type the ampersand sign, and then I want it to be on a new line. And remember, we are using a VB script over here. So you type VB, and the new line, the new is supposed to be capital N, the line is supposed to be capital L. And then the ampersand sign again. And then I double click, let's say, on the number of accidents. Then I can verify. So you see, we have Asen Gregoire, the name of the district. And then beneath Asen Gregoire, we have the number of accidents recorded in that district. I can click on OK. And then I click OK here. I click on Apply. And bingo, um, there it is. So it is this expression that uh, you are going to use. This expression, the name of the first field, you double click on this first field to select it. You type the ampersand VB new line. And remember that new is supposed to be capital N. And then um, L is also supposed to be capital L. Then the ampersand and then you select the second field. Let's assume I also want to label with a number of uh, fatalities also in a different line. I can click on the end sign, click on type VB, new line, ampersand again, double click on the number of fatalities, I verify and I'm going to have three lines. So I have the name of the district, the number of accidents, the number of fatalities over here. Click on this, I click OK, I click apply. And you see that we have three labels over here. So basically, that's how you can um, label um, using multiple fields in RGIs. Kindly leave a comment and let me hear from you regarding this particular tutorial. And please subscribe to my channel so that you will receive an alert um, the moment I upload more videos. Thank you very much and uh, have a good day.